of you guys can't do something. In reality, most of us find ourselves this almost every day. We are actually very fortunate people to have all our body parts. Most people suffer from impaired or physically impaired. And so these people join sports um, and they join the Paralympics. I'm going to show you a video of what I'll be talking about. Not good enough. Everybody should be on that line. In the 2012 Paralympic Games, it reached over 37 million viewers. 
before people didn't know what the Paralympics were, and they were asking, I don't know what that is, but nowadays people are like, where do I get the tickets? Like, I want to go, where is it, when is it, let's go together. Channel 4 states that 65% feel that the Paralympics games have changed the view on the perception of disabled people. 83 agree disabled athletes are as talented as able-bodied athletes. <coughs> <laughs> Jones, a four-time US medalist in parallel cycling and skiing, states that we're getting support that we've never seen before. We're getting credit that we've never had before. And the support is across the board. It's worldwide, media, fans, family, and other stuff. Today I've talked about who started the Paralympics, what it has done for disabled men and women, how it affected the viewers, and how it's brought hope, faith, and enjoyment into our homes to see these athletes succeed. The Paralympics have help the world see how amazing athletes are with disabilities. These athletes are changing the public discourse on disability and sports. The athletes who participate in the Paralympics remind us that disability does not determine our fate as an athlete or as a person. The games allow us to focus on the pup or on the athletes who can do and not on the limitations. These are superhumans. All right, Corey, what did you think? Okay, I'm going to start negative and then finish it off with all the positives because there's way more positives. Okay. Um, slow down. Yeah. You sped through that a little bit. And uh, I think part of the reason you sped through is because you're, it seemed like you were reading off the note cards towards the end. Mm -hmm. So, like, if you were just to, uh, you seem really knowledgeable, like, and you're definitely passionate about the topic. So, maybe if you had just spoke from what you know, you would have slowed down a little bit there. Other than that, uh, the intro was really good. The video was great. It tied, I mean, it perfectly tied into what you said, too, because uh, your thesis was clear. You're, you're speaking about why the Paralympics are good, and you wanted to give us background, and uh, I thought all that was great. Uh, your Mariana Davis example was really good because she had a quote that like was almost exactly what your thesis was um, about overcoming and how it helps and how the positives of the Paralympics. Um, and then I just wrote myself an asterisk because it's something that you were saying is like you can overcome and like that was kind of the, the overall gist of the speech. I liked it. I thought it was good. Thank you. Uh -huh. All right, I'm gonna. I'll agree with uh, what you're saying at the beginning on the criticism about the speed of the presentation. We we have we're not really emphasizing delivery at this point, but that doesn't mean that we want to neglect it. And I think when you watch this back, you'll see that you've got a really interesting subject, uh, a, a topic that you seem to be um, motivated to talk about and are interested in, and you're delivering it in kind of an offhand way. It comes across like you're just running through notes and getting through it instead of talking to us. And that, that disengagement is really inconsistent with the content. It, it feels a little bit strange. You, you really need to be, I think, more engage with the audience and with the subject and you're not because you're doing all that reading and looking at the notes so it would be better to just get the notes out of your hands maybe use the visuals as your uh, organizational prompt and just talk to us about what you're doing I know it's tough to remember a lot of names or dates and that sort of thing but uh, you could maybe even put some of those in your visual prompts because you've got uh, pictures of some of those early Paralympic events and you could put the date and the location on those particular things and that would maybe fix a couple of those issues. Uh, and then maybe the quote you, you have to have on a card someplace here or there. But talking to us I think would make a big difference. And unfortunately the the delivery issue is the thing that is the biggest problem with this. Or I guess I should say fortunately because you know it's the smallest 
part of the evaluation on this assignment, and it's the biggest thing that's problematic with the speech. Now, there was one other thing that I thought was a little bit problematic with the speech, and then I'll, I'll go with Corey and finish with the stuff that's all really good about the presentation. Uh, and that is that at the beginning, there's not really much of a setup of what the content is. There's not, I didn't hear a preview. At the end of the speech, I think you rescue yourself a little bit with the summary, reminding us of what the, what, about what the main points were supposed to be. And suddenly, it's a little bit easier to see how those things fit in. Uh, and, and build the speech. But I think if you had that preview at the beginning, it would make a lot more sense. You know, uh, the, it sounds like it's going to be a chronological history of the Paralympics, but that's not really where you go. After you get through that original section where you're just kind of explaining how it developed, you're really talking about some other things here, about what it accomplishes, why it's important, and that kind of stuff. And we ought to know that that's coming. We ought to see how it fits into the speech. Uh, let's talk about the things that are really good about the presentation also. Um, I like the, the personal examples that you use of the Paralympians themselves talking about their events and their experiences. It makes it a lot more interesting than if it's just that you know, kind of extraneous sort of thing. I think, I think the uh, video is a good attention device. I think some of the question that you had to lead it in may, might have been a little bit smoother, but the video itself worked well minor negative thing, got to watch the volume. I thought it was a little loud and it's, we can put up with it. it, it people next door, they don't know how long it's going to go on. You know, so it could, we could run into the situation where somebody comes in from next door, hey, turn that down. You know, uh, usually we're pretty cooperative with each other and that sort of thing. It's only going to be a short period of time. Yours was almost a minute in length and so it's a little bit tough listening to it at that volume for that period of time, it would, I was a little nervous that uh, whoever the instructor in the next room was, was where the people sitting there would start pounding on the wall. So you got to kind of moderate and think about the situation that you're in. Like I said, the video is really inspiring and you get the right idea that, about what we're talking about. Uh, so the subjects introduced well, thought you had some good research. The, the pictures, I think, uh, do, do justice. What you're talking about, the delivery, I think, is a little bit you know, that's the main issue. All right. Thank you.